Hey guys, Smitty here. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back. We are back in Valheim, back in our build series, and today we are going to be starting a new project. So, what I had in mind today is I actually want to do something a little bit new. I want to build like a tower or like a lighthouse. So, I've obviously done a bunch of different types of builds, but I don't think I have done a tower type build yet. So, we'll see how it goes, but without further ado, grab a snack, grab a drink, let's get right into it. So, like I said, the idea is to create some sort of like tower or lighthouse, so have a bit of foundation just set. I have this circular spot up here, which I just have like the stone foundation rotated one spot each. And I think this is where the actual tower is going to be, so it's going to go up this way, and then maybe just, there'll be like a small little like house area down here. I think that's my tentative plan here, so... We'll see how it turns out, but um, let's just jump right into it. I think the first thing we gotta do is kind of get the bones in and see how tall we want to make this uh, tower. And so I think we will go ahead and probably start with some wood iron poles because it is going to be quite tall. So I do need the structural integrity that is brought from these like iron poles so make it have kind of the faces on this side it is going to be pretty tall but I, I want it to have multiple floors just gotta determine how each how like tall each segment is before I, I do the floor let's start with something like this we also have to decide where the stairs are going to be I think I do want the stairs to go on the outside. I guess like we could try to sneak him in on the inside, but then we get through this weird thing where it overlaps and kind of blocks you. So I think I'm going to decide against that and try to wrap it on the outside. I think it would look kind of cool having the stairs just wrap around the exterior as well. I think that might look pretty, pretty nice once it like wraps all the way up kind of in a spiral fashion so we'll try to do that so there's that maybe this would be yeah this can be like the first floor we'll take some wood beams and then we'll just section that off kind of outline this floor so we're just rotating this in one click each time there's that, so that'll be kind of the first floor. I'll come out there. We'll plug up these holes on the stairs a little bit later, but just kind of want to see the profile of it kind of spiraling up like this. We'll keep each segment the same height for now. Two, three, four. And again, we're just trying to get the, the structure in here. One, to see how high we can actually build. The structural integrity is going to be definitely one of the biggest concerns here uh, on a tall build like this. Okay, and then we'll stick in kind of the outline of that next floor. How is this thing wrapping up? Let's continue the stairway. Oh, okay, so... Looks like we might have to decrease this segment by a little like half space here. Just based on the rotation of the staircase. Because I want this to be kind of symmetrical to that one down there. So okay, we can fix that. We'll just bring this down that way. And then we'll just keep this going up. Let's see, what is our structural integrity looking like? Oh, it's not, not great. Okay, maybe this will end up being kind of like our top floor then. I don't really want to push our luck too far. So we'll, we'll try to go for this. Keep on wrapping up our 
staircase around the exterior here. All right, there we go. The staircase is going to spin like that. I think that'll work. Um, so for one, I don't want to just leave these as iron poles. So I'm going to cover this with some uh, log poles. Yeah, so I'm going to cover these with some log poles. Okay, so I got some of these covered up with the log poles. Kind of need to figure out like a pattern that I want to do for this build. Like, yeah, I needed to establish like a pattern that I want to do for like each face of these. I think I'll try to utilize some of these dividers if I can. So maybe going up like that. Throw one of those. Just add. That nice kind of pointed shape at the top. Honestly, I kind of have this idea like, what if I lined this with some stone? So, like, yeah, this maybe the faces with the beams are gonna have just stone lined on the outside. That might look kind of nice. Let's see, will this. Can I build this all the way up? Or is it gonna break? I think it should be supported. Ported by the beams. I think that looks decent. Let me put one of those there, and then we'll just kind of continue with the divider pattern on these faces. So there's that. Put another one of those there. Okay, yeah, I think I think that'll work. I think obviously here is gonna be more of like a door. I think I'm going to get rid of this layer here. Just because it doesn't line up with where that floor is going to be. Which I think will be right through here. Yeah, okay. I think that could work. I think this will probably be like more of a door. Something like that. Yeah, and then maybe we line this with some of the log poles as well. Okay, yeah, we'll go with something like that. So I think we'll mimic this pattern on these four faces. And then we'll do an alternating pattern on these uh these kind of curb segments here. But let's just go ahead and block something very similar on the other four faces here. So let's see. The thing with towers, it's like you kinda wanna find like a pattern. Pattern like just like with any walls. You want to find a good design, good pattern, and then just kind of like replicate it. Alright. There we go. So we got our stone layer in. And then let's go ahead and then align the edges here with that log the log pole yeah the log pole just trying to find a way to make this structure look nice you know like a tower in essence can be kind of simple so we definitely want to make sure that it at least looks good if the structure itself is pretty simple so we'll see what we can do to have some nice patterns and uh nice decorations on this thing we should probably actually figure out how we're gonna cover this thing with the roof so let's uh let's actually yeah let's do that first so can we go a little higher I hope so oh boy um let me go maybe like one meter taller so we throw these on here will they collapse okay so far so good and this is gonna be I think Kind of how where the roof starts, so let's do that. Check these all around. Hopefully this thing doesn't collapse. We try to build the roof. Probably should have vetted that out before I start building the rest of this. I think we might be okay though. I don't know. Uh, fingers crossed, I suppose. Let's see. What do we want to do for kind of the geometry of it? Maybe we'll 
clear out with 26 degree beams here. Okay, so 26, and then we'll kind of go 45. And then maybe we just kind of stick with that. Is that going to connect? Okay, so yeah, there, that connects there. Okay, very nice. And it doesn't look like it's going to collapse yet. Let's just try to brace these here. Maybe we raise this one more section. This can be like our top or something like that. Yeah, okay. I think that'll work. We might change it a little bit as we uh, progress here, but um, just kind of wanted to make sure that we could build this without it collapsing. I think we are a little bit at our limits here, but so far so good. Okay. So let's get back to kind of the, the walls here, figure out what we want to do on these off walls. Or I decided this design, I think these off wall areas are going to be probably more wood. So little one by one pieces here. We're gonna go up that way and then we'll put in these wood half walls in these segments honestly maybe we'll put a window here yeah so maybe I'll leave a little space there for a window yeah I think so but I do think that's gonna be kind of our pattern so maybe we have a, a window at a similar height on this side hmm Okay, that could work. Well, actually, this is going to be the entrance here. So let's, at least to this level. So let's make sure that we leave this open. And honestly, let's make sure that we cover up these, these beams with just some of the regular wood beams. Okay. And you know what? Let's actually just block in the floor here. So this will be a floor and then up here as well. Alright, so now the floor's in. And then we do have this kind of third floor. Well, one thing I did notice is let's go and put these caps here and then yes let's just lock these in again so this will be the top floor uh, like I said we are I think I want this tower to be kind of a lighthouse since we're right here overlooking the water so we'll have to figure out some kind of porch or light mechanism that we're gonna put up here okay the floor is in Left that open because I don't know, again, if we're building some sort of like lighthouse torch up here. It's probably going to be somewhere in that space. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do yet. Honestly, let's kind of tidy up these stairs. So I think what I'm going to do is line these with beams and then just use a one wood beam like that. And then we'll angle it in. And then we'll just plug the, the floor. Kind of the holes here. We'll just use one by ones. And if we just repeat that all the way up, you can't really notice, or it's not super noticeable that we kind of just plug it in there like that. And you can still walk up. So I think that will be our solution there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just run through that really quick all the way up and again I do like the decision to make the stairs on the outside of this tower I think functionally it works a little bit better because you have more space but I think it also adds to the profile of the tower like it, it looks kind of cool
All right, there's that. Now let's just add these little wood beam bits to kind of finish off the, the shape of these stairs here. All right, there we go. So some of the trim of the stairs is finished. And it should still allow us to go all the way up here. Yep. So yeah, still works. So I do want to have some like windows and balconies that kind of poke out around here. But I kind of have to decide where exactly I want to put them. Like for instance here, like I think I do want to have and a balcony is off this way. So yeah, maybe that'll be a balcony there. No, uh, actually, I don't like the shape of this. Got to angle in immediately like that, I think. Yeah. I think I like that a little better. Subtle change, but... I think we want to follow the shape of the, the tower a little bit more. So we'll do that. We'll create some sort of balcony. We'll use the cage wall on the railings, maybe. Something like that. Yeah. I suppose that will work. Gotta close this off a little bit, I suppose. Okay, uh, let's kind of work out this window a little bit more here. I think we'll just keep it pretty simple. Like this, but maybe we'll make it pop a little bit. Yeah. We'll just bring the windowsill out a little bit more. Uh, I don't know, do I put cages on the window? Maybe the iron gates? Okay, well let's do the window very similarly on this side. Works, then we'll pop it out a little bit. This. Okay. I think I'm okay with that for now. This will be another window. May I make this window a little bit higher? So again, we'll just... Kind of outline it very basically. Okay, maybe there'll be a little walk up to it with some stairs. Maybe. Maybe this will be like a bedroom or something like that. We got this side. Okay, so there's that one. Ooh, did this balcony come all the way around, maybe? Actually, no. Maybe we just leave it as two separate... Two separate balconies. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Okay, we'll just decorate it very similar to the other one. All right. And then, yeah, let's close this up a little bit here. Create the doorway here. Honestly, just kind of like the window sills, we should make these kind of pop out a little bit, I think. Just give a little bit more depth to the side of our, our building here. Let's just do that. Okay. Let us finish up the rest of these buildings. I think we'll have balcony here and here. The back. So, let's see. All the same style. So we'll rotate in one, two. Alright, cool. So yeah, kind of alternating balconies on each floor. Builds a little bit unconventional for sure. But uh, I think this will be kind of a cool exercise. I, I always kind of like doing some of the unconventional builds, right? It's just something fresh, something fun. Okay. So a couple balconies here, and then we'll close these up with the walls.
Then, yep, we'll just make these door frames pop out a little bit. Okay. So there are just a couple of these other blank sections here. These will most likely just be windows, I believe. Alright, and so I think we have all our walls in. Um, okay. So, now we just need to figure out the top floor here. Kind of fill in our roof as well. We will also be building a kind of small little house down on this lower level, but... We'll, uh, we'll figure out the tower first. So one thing I want to do on this top floor is I actually want to bring this out to create kind of like a lip here on the top floor. And actually, yeah. Well, maybe we... Actually, can we bring it out a full two meters? So let's try it. Let's try to create this lip. We have to be careful here because we don't want to impede the stairs coming up. See, will that would that work? Let me put that there and still get through. Yeah, okay. So that works. But that'll probably be the last... Like, we gotta leave that section open so we don't impede the stairway. And then we'll just kind of angle these in and connect them, I suppose. And it'll create this kind of like overhang lip at the top. I think will be nice. Alright. Nice. Yeah, I like that. I like that we've created that little overhang there. Let's see. Let's... Well, for one, let's cover up some of these wood beams up here. And then we'll just throw in some more log poles here. Okay, and now... Well, actually... Uh, what if we created some little, like, window sills up here? Little, like, outlets here on the... On the roof. So, yeah, let's bring this out a little bit. And then we'll create these... Little, like, window sill areas. On the roof. I think this will make our roof look a little bit more interesting if we have these on like like the four faces out here. So go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, there we go. Yeah. I think those will look nice. Um so let's go ahead and actually start laying in some of our shingled roof here. So we'll start with just with the 26 degree pieces. We'll just kind of rotate these all around. We do have a little bit of a gap on these areas. Not really sure what we're going to do about that, but... These shingles do look kind of cool when you rotate them in a circular roof like this. Alright, then we'll go to our 45. We'll just kind of squeeze these roof pieces in here. I think that still looks okay. Okay, there's that. Let's throw a couple ridges. What is this? The yeah, shingle roof ridges. And I think that looks okay. I think we'll probably leave this more open. Just because uh, I think we'll probably filter some smoke through here. But let's... Uh, maybe we should put some adornments. So we'll just rotate these all the way around like this. Alright, nice. That, uh... That looks pretty cool. Um, we will have to create some kind of railing here at the top, so let's just... I think use the caged wall. Alright, so we have a bit of a railing there. You know, I think what I want to do is... I think I do want to establish... The, um... I kind of like the light lighthouse torch up here. I think what I do want to use is, I think... I want to utilize the hanging braziers. So maybe if we do like a log pole... And then maybe we'll do like three of them. I'm in different directions like that. I think that should look... 
decent, give off a good amount of light for the lighthouse, and um, one thing I want to be wary of is just not to create too much smoke, so that's why I think three might be the sweet spot there. Yeah, okay. Something like that I think should work. Um, so I think one thing I will do is... I will do the railing all the way up. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Just line it with some beams. Okay, nice. So now we have a railing going up and around with our stairway. I like that. Yeah, so I think we have the base structure of the lighthouse in. We might do a couple tweaks here and there later, but... Basic construction is done. So what I think we need to move on to now is just the house structure that's going to sit kind of underneath here. So... I think there's going to be this kind of like stairway connection here down into the actual house structure. But again, still unsure how I want to connect this all. So, maybe we'll do a bit of like a layering of the roof structure here. So we'll go 3 meters high for the beams. And then we'll go with the 45 degree beams. Create this kind of like cross. And then maybe we stay consistent with that pattern all the way down to create kind of like this layered roof structure. And then we'll get, again, have one more layer here. So yeah. Just be kind of this, like, stairway headed up into the lighthouse. I think that should work. Um, but how is this going to feed into the house? Then becomes the question. Because, yeah, it's got to kind of mesh with the foundation here. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get the bones of the house in. I don't think it's going to be a super large house. So maybe we only have it 3 meters tall. Kind of low roof that starts with the 26th and kind of angles up into the 45 maybe. I think actually this will allow us to make a connection here. Okay, yeah, so that'll work. Up to a point here. Uh, see, if we come to the point there, it actually becomes consistent with all those. Bring this across. Connect all our beams here. And I think we'll probably stay consistent with this face that's coming out. I think that should serve as kind of like our basis, basic structure here. Oh, so what we could do is actually, yeah, leave that segment up like there. And then we still have just maybe like a slight overhang that way. Maybe, maybe it'll work. Let's see. And then these can be... Convert all these to the 45 degree wood cross pieces. Alright, let's add some decorative trim here. We normally do. Let's push this out a little bit more as well. Then we'll add just, yeah, maybe some of these on the side just to kind of finish out that shape of the roof that are really kind of, it's more steep and then flattens out. I think I like that. Okay, um, well, you know what, let's go ahead and start filling in this roof just to see what it looks like. I think we'll stick with the shingled roof for this. Actually, what if we got rid of this? 
we brought this forward as just like a little raised section. That might look kind of cool. And this, yeah, this should go all the way back here. Actually, I wonder, do we bring this out a little farther? Maybe not that far. Okay. Yeah, maybe this is how it will go. Um, flat wooded area, maybe. Okay, I think that will work. Um, I have to fix this. This will push back to here. Whoops. There we go. Great. A little layer on the trim as well. I need to finish off these shingles. And then fill these ones in here. The ridges. Okay, so all that is connected. And then it just kind of connects in here. Let's just throw some of our wood beams in here on the trim. And then I suppose we should just close this up as much as we can. Does that look like... Okay. I think that looks alright. Honestly, no, maybe I don't want this. Keep the... Let's keep the house nice and simple down here. Okay, yeah. Now, let's do some of the walls. Well, actually, you know what? I think we'll have some balconies here on this side. So we'll just decorate it with some of the log beams and the iron gates like that. Um, honestly, I think maybe I need to bring this out a little farther as well. Alright, so yeah, let's bring that out a little bit farther. So, let's get rid of this. Okay. So do that. And then we will again kind of extend this out on the trim. Okay. There we go. The roof is in. Let's just figure out a wall design here. So... Well, actually, you know what? I am going to push this out. And it's going to be a little bit shorter here. Yeah, okay, let's let's go with that. Just create another layer of roofing. Yeah, okay, I like that. Let's do a similar thing on this side. Okay. There we go. Now, let's figure out the walls, so I think maybe we'll do a combination of wood and log, maybe? No. Maybe we just do wood. Yeah, you know what, let's just stick with wood walls in this case. We'll create Maybe a little window on this side. So we'll do something like that, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll do a design like this for the side. 
some good depth to that wall. Let's do the same over here. Alright, let's just kind of layer some... ...normal wood walls back here. Maybe we'll have small windows as well. Yeah, so some small windows over here. Same thing on this side. Alright, so I think we'll just plug it up with something like that. Okay, now let's seal up this side. I want to leave it somewhat open on this side, so it's kind of facing the water and... Don't want to obstruct that view... ...a ton. So yeah, maybe this will be left more open. This will be my door. Leave more of the dividers. Alright. So I think this will do. Or at least the front here. Don't mind that. And then probably more dividers. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. There's that. I kind of wonder... Do I continue just layering out the roof like this? Like, what does that look like? If I want to cross, and then maybe through a one by one wood floor. At the very end here. I actually, I actually like the way that looks, so... Let's do that. This looks actually just like a little bit cleaner. Having this on the trim there, so... Happy with that. Probably just put some windows in these sections here. And then yeah, this just leads up to... Put that there. Alright. Um, probably need to... Flatten out this trim here as well. Let's keep that consistent with this build all the way around. Alright, nice. And then here as well. Okay, there we go. It is all connected. Very nice. Alright, so there you guys have it. So. We have kind of completed the preliminary construction of this build. Um, really love how we have the lighthouse in the back, but it's kind of connected to this house in the front. And I'm not sure if this is going to be more of just like a living quarters or maybe like a tavern or like a dock house storage unit, something like that. But we'll kind of make those decisions in the next episodes when we decorate. But again, really love how it's kind of unconventional um, and how it connects like this love how we have the stairs just wrapping up and it really stands out you know I mean I was a little concerned about the stability but it turned out really nice I can't wait to go ahead and decorate this build but if you enjoyed this construction please make sure you like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one thanks